this is Julie here. Um, this is my very first video for Sherry Baldy's Colorology Design Team. And I just wanted to show you some of the products that Sherry Baldy has and things that you can do with them. Um, the project I will be showing you today is a card and I'm just showing you at the moment the little flowers that she has. Beautiful little flowers. Um, you'll see in the background there um, some watercolour card that I have coloured using these beautiful shimmer powders in green and purple and uh, some pigment powders. There's a lovely hot pink one there and a dark navy blue and this is some glimmer salt as well that I will be using on the flowers and this one is one of the spritzes black stardust so here I am with some white watercolor paper and I'm just wetting it down with a little bit of water And I'm going to start off with the hot pink pigment powder. Just dip the brush into the lid there just so you get a little bit on the brush. And then just rub it onto the card with the wet paintbrush. You can add a bit of water here and there just to help it blend in. Now I'm going to use a bit of the purple shimmer powder. It's a bit hard to see it on this video, just how pretty those shimmery powders are. And now I'm going to use some of the blue and um, the green shimmer powder, sorry. was nice and easy to do. If you want to just blend the colours in a little bit more to each other just add a little bit more water here and there. And now I'm just splashing a little bit of water as well to blend those colours in a little bit more. Just drying it off with my heat gun. Now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz around the edges with the Black Stardust Glimmer Spritz. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of the dark blue pigment powder just onto a palette and mix in a little bit of water into it just to make it quite wet. And 
and I'm going to give it a bit of a sprinkle onto the watercolour card and then I'm going to pick it up and just run the edge of the brush along the sides of the piece of watercolour And there we have it. And you can dry that off again with your heat gun so that it's ready for your project. And don't worry too much about the paper curling up at this stage because once it dries out properly, it'll flatten out. Now I'm going to put a bit of colour onto my little flowers. I'm just colouring the white flowers. So I'm just going to start off with a little bit of the purple shimmer powder. And you can see I've also still got a little bit of the blue pigment on my brush as well. It's just going to add to the effect. So I'm just pushing the colour down into the centre part of the flower. too much about being perfect and now I'm going to add some green just around the ends of the petals And a little bit more water to blend the two colours in together in the centre. Just give it a bit of a dry off with the heat gun. Next I'm going to add a little bit of the glittery The dust it's very pretty sort of like a dusky rose type color just putting a little bit of PVA glue just in various spots on my flower and then I'm going to sprinkle that very pretty glitter over the top And I'm going to do the same with my little pink flowers as well. This is a card that I've made using my pieces that I've just created. And I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm just using a um, standard 6x6 card base. 
Uh, that's some pale mauve pigment ink from Kayser Craft and I'm just going to use that to ink up the edges of my papers. Just going to distress the edge of my purple card that I'm using as my mat just with a pair of scissors. Just adhere all those pieces together. I'm just using a tacky craft glue here. I think it's my favourite glue. I tend to use that one a lot. Just dries quickly and it adheres quite quite strongly. So you have a little minute to manoeuvre your pieces if they're not quite in the right spot. And then it will adhere it quite strongly so it won't move after that. I'm just going to distress the edges of my watercolour card that I've coloured. The edges are still a little bit damp from that last bit of blue pigment powder that I put around the edges. So it actually distresses really quite easily. You can sort of see the shimmer there in that shot too. I'm going to need a little bit of glue. And place that towards the left hand edge. And here's my laces that I have ready to glue on. Just trim them to size. Just gluing my laces down. Here's a little bit of cheesecloth. I'm just fraying the edges up. And then I'll glue that bit down as well.
Now this is a lovely Sherry Baldy birdcage die. I just love this, it's so pretty. So I've just cut one out and then I have coloured it the same way I did the watercolour card. I've just put a little bit of the um, purple and green shimmer powders on it just with a wet brush just to give it a bit of colour. A few dabs of glue. some leaf die cuts. Just glue those on. I'm pretty sure they are crafty in dies those ones. And now it's to put time to put on my lovely sherry baldy flowers. Just curling the ends around a paintbrush. Always like to leave my stems on. I like the little curly ends. placing them to see where I want to put them and then I'll glue them on. You can see I have a little Sherry Baldy bestie bottle cap image there and I also have a chipboard word that I have coloured with a little bit of white paint. Just hearing that down. with a little chipboard heart. I also have a couple of little purple roses from Wild Orchid Crafts that I'm going to pop on it as well. a really pretty shimmer to it which is a bit hard to tell on video but in my still photos maybe that will show up a little bit better I hope you enjoyed my project today and I will put links below to Sherry Baldy's lovely new products so you'll be able to find them I will be back with more videos shortly, so please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching, have a lovely day.